Hello dear subscribers, today's video is about Dynasty Warriors 9 and uh, it's going to be what I think about this game and uh, I'm currently playing the PC version of the game so expect me to not act properly with controls because I can't use my Xbox pad for... Uh, I actually use PlayStation 4 controller, but I use DualShock for Windows and uh, for some reason I can't make the controls work. So, what to speak? This is Dynasty Warriors 9, it's an open world game and uh, So far, I like it. Honestly, I like this game. For some reason, it's currently slowing down my PC, although it shouldn't be. And uh, I wanted to say my opinion about this game, but I can't be cool with my review or opinion because I haven't really progressed enough to see everything uh, this game has to offer. But it will be just my opinion based on the on the time I spent uh, playing this game. So let's begin with the graphics. As you can see, the yeah. graphics are really good. Uh, they are much more better than Dynasty Warriors 8. In some ways, the character models look really good. Everything seems really good, except. However, there are some walls, and those walls include the textures that sometimes look weird and out, out of place. And uh, sometimes the enemies can pop up and as well as perish in the midst of the battle. But I think that those uh, walls basically go more th to the gameplay mechanics rather than the graphics and uh, I think Koi will make patches with uh, stuff with the game especially on the PC version and uh, I believe this time unlike One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 we will see patches I'm very happy that the graphics for the, play, for the PC port are not downgraded like in the other Dynasty of Warriors games where the graphics use the PlayStation 3 version for PS Vita version textures instead of the PlayStation 4 one. This is Cao Cao and uh, oh this game I, I don't know why it works anyway when I played it last time it didn't work. Maybe I run too much programs in the background, that's why. So back to the world. Uh, I wanted to say that I like this game. I like that it's an open world. I'm not sure how full this open world is, how much it has to offer here. Like I said, I have not really progressed much in the story mode rather than playing for about half an hour or one hour just to Did see the, the at least some of the mechanics in the game These and uh, what I also have Don't to say is that I really like the combat I'm not sure if characters can unlock additional moves currently I think that my character moves lack so I believe there should be more combos or attacks available for the character I play as by progressing with the level system. Yeah. And sorry, I'm, I'm still not used to the PC And it takes me time until I realize that the key to dismounting the boss is actually the spacebar. So I'm currently playing a Cao Cao and I really like how he plays here. 
I really like this combo. I hope they are unique to him and uh, I don't see another character using this uh, sword style slashes, uh, his uh, uh, sword uh, style and uh, I hope to see more moves unlocked in the by progressing with the level system by increasing my character's level. And uh, what I also have to say is that currently I have traveled uh, around my village where I started and uh, encountered some of the hunting stuff. But I couldn't really use my bow because either I don't have a bow or I don't know the key combination to go with my bow. Now, uh, instead of Tombus, from what I see, we can use the so-called charge attacks directly. They are much more like a special skills for the character, instead of the usual charge style attacks in the, in the previous Dynasty Warriors game. But uh, I like this change because, you know, in my mods for the circle or for um, One Piece, I have uh, created scripts that, you know, uh, they make uh, so players can use uh, some of the charge moves directly, much like the I does, and, uh, and you can also use uh, moves which only the CPU can use, but that's, that's another talk, so I'm not talking about mods here. Uh, I hope that uh, you will see more expansion in this game in the future. I still, like I said, have not seen what he has to offer yet. But based on my currently one hour experience with it, actually it's two hours, but anyway, it's not enough for me to say my final decision whether this game is good or not. Or, uh, but currently I read uh, re and watch reviews of some guys on YouTube, uh, the one saying this is the worst game in the series. And the other one saying that uh, this is uh, the best game in the series. Well, the one I know is called Jim Sterling. I like uh, his idea of talking about the microtransactions uh, in games and uh, how he hates on ge companies like EA, Warner Bros. and others. Uh, there, there we have the same opinion this one. I really hate those companies. I don't like those. It's the games they offer. I hate Battlefront 2. It's the worst game ever made for me. Even the, the one where you they call it uh, the worst game in the world, I think it's better because you no know, Battlefront used to be a game where single player was more than multiplayer. And now it's Otherwise, where multiplayer is more than single player, he has to offer, and they, they currently don't do anything, through. just talk, trash on their forms and lies, but nothing has been done so far. So, EA even want to add back to those microtransactions. So that I will have to agree on with Jim Sterling. Really like this guy, but I don't... I don't think he's completely right with the game the review because, well, honestly, I, I have to disagree on some cases with him. I have to agree with on some cases with him, but well, I will not use any more my video to talk about him or judge him how he should review the game. But I will just tell you that currently I only saw a hater review. That's what I think about this the world of the it's small, oh, I hate the review the rather than really review that shows some of the pros the game has to offer. That it couldn't have come at a and time. so, the other guy, per, well, Nothing he was from my getting the game for free, so I can't wow. fully trust that was awesome. him. Because getting I the game for free and making a review on it, saying that it's the best game in the series, well, if they give me the game, I, I will also surely say that it's the best game in the series, but, well, they didn't give me the game. <laughs> I'm joking. 
Uh, but I can say that it's not the best game. It's one of the best games in the series for me because it offers an open world, it offers more freedom on the battlefield unlike the other games where you look at in uh, a rear, in a battlefield area and uh, here you have more, cho more choice, more variety you can walk inside and uh, explore the world that's based on the ancient China yeah. and the Three Kingdoms period and as you all know Cao Cao is the prime minister of the game and one of the best strategists in the world for its time so those who haven't played the game the previous installments will surely say that they like this game and uh, it's new to them so they will not notice some changes from the other games well I don't like that from roaming the world I don't see a lot of battles happening, I don't see a lot of activity. I hope that there will be a lot more, you know, content like activities, like uh, additional stuff for the player to do while exploring the world. So it will be more, you know, giving more replay value. I really like those graphics, I really like them, but sometimes, as you can see, uh, in the distance here, the textures look out of place for some reason. So, if I close, let's see, the they involve? Yes, but uh, that's the loading distance. I will say that the loading distance is, well, medium. It's not bad, it's not either best. But it's medium. They could have really improved on that. So, you know, you don't see those uh, textures and low textures. This is because it saves... Uh, it saves CPU, it saves and uh, video memory by not loading the far objects in the game. I'm talking uh, in the terms of uh, like uh, a developer because I used to develop stuff and I know why some why some things you make uh, don't look so good and you decrease you know the functionality of say loading distances and so to make the game more compatible with more systems and well I really respect that but you know there should be a setting that you know increases the distance even more so those who have more let's say high-end pieces they can enjoy uh, the beautifulness of this open world otherwise it really makes things good only around the player character and everywhere else it looks you know in the distance looks a little bit off place especially the unloaded textures so I'm using my mouse <laughs> as you can see I'm playing with the mouse and I must say that I never played uh, the Nasty Warriors games on keyboard so far. This is the first time I ever played the Nasty Warriors games on keyboard and I can, uh, you know, turn freely with uh, the mouse. Although the controller is twice as better than the keyboard, I like the keyboard support here. I don't like some keys are too far away from the walking uh, buttons and probably I should maybe I should change the bindings of the keys but I think that they really implemented the controls very good here especially on keyboard because you know when I play I don't find it very difficult and until I realize which key for what is that took me place because uh, that took a lot of time excuse me that took a lot of time because uh, the issue is that I'm currently not boogied any Xbox controller in my PC. It's actually DualShock 4, but it's um, boogied, so uh, the game shouldn't detect Xbox controller. But the, as you can see in the head menu, the keys show Xbox controller setup and buttons layout. 
and I cannot see what is the key on the keyboard actually which key on is for what so that's a downside for me and I hope they will improve this they will actually add uh, fix the path configuration because you know many people convey that the paths do not work currently now that's a very good looking bridge it's almost identical to the three kingdoms movies uh, places I have watched the three kingdoms 2010 movie and I really like it it's one of the best <coughs> actually it's the best serial series I have watched in my entire life I don't like other serials but this one I watch and repeat and watch and every time I watch it I find a lot of uh, new stuff I have not really uh, seen notice it uh, in my previous uh, you know watch time so you know this is why I love Dynasty Warriors games so if you ask me whether you should get this game well I will definitely tell you go get it it's a good game it's a good uh, it's a new look it's a new fresh look on the Dynasty Warriors series and I understand that some people are really frustrated yeah. saying that the open world is very bad idea and stuff like that but I must tell you something that um, you know we know that Dynasty Warriors originally was a fighting game we saw Dynasty Warriors 2 that was fixed and turned it into an open world game and uh, excuse me not an open world game but uh, you know uh, a beat em up game and so and so and now we have a new shift in the series from so many years ago and that's a new fresh book so if you want to get this game I recommend you get it they, I hope that they will fix some stuff with patches as they already said in their twitter page that they are making patches so that means they are working on improvements of the game that means they listen to the people so if you ask me if you ask me get this game and uh, that's it it's a really good game I like it this game I really like it I don't find the pause that all others say maybe I'm a I'm a blind I'm I, I haven't really played long enough but so far so far I really like it well the only thing I don't like is that I cannot you know completely enjoy battles because I'm more used to going directly in the battle and you know fight enemies and so on so I can't be playing on easy I hope that you know if I turn the option to hard enemies will really battle and not uh, you know that's nice looking water anyway really 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 spooky water that's really good textures never seen so good textures in the, the previous games especially the water it's really looking authentic so what was I talking about is that you know I don't find uh, the other poles currently but uh, I really hope that they make the enemies you know fight back more especially the regular soldiers mm, even my cape is now whoa whoa that's really good looking so when you are in the water your dresses go uh, wet and that's really good that's really good So again, I will not complete my review here, maybe I will make another one or if I play this game in another videos I will speak about what I think of it. Currently I haven't fully explored the game so I can't really say my opinion and I will ask all those reviewers like Jim Sterling and others, please go play the game, don't just hurry to review it in the first one hour and say this game sucks first finish the game and then once you saw everything then you can complete your review and say 
it's a bad game and so and so for example Battlefront 2 for me is bad because there are months since its release and they still haven't made a good offline mods they still haven't made uh, replayability for the single player the arcade mod really sucks very limited maps, very small maps no updates based on that, only online updates that's why I don't like Battlefront 2 I will never buy ever in my life uh, an EA game no matter what is even if they fix everything I will never support and buy EA game ever in my life so this is what I mean about reviews first finish the game, complete it, complete, uh, beat it completely and then come back and say I don't like this, I don't like this, I like this now. and stuff and stuff no. and stuff and stuff and slay the beast so that will be a real review and not some <sighs> hater review no where you just out. play the if game for half an hour and come and say you know this game is very bad or that is very good just like me I don't say everything is fine on my review and this currently based on my opinion whether right. I play this game I for need how an hour and I can say anything for really if this game so. is good or not or I can say it's based on my currently uh, played uh, time with it so that's my video about Dynasty Warriors 9 and if you like it well click subscribe Impressive button cousin. and you tell me what you think the of the game in your comments in the comment section thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.